What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Traveling Eddie and today, because the live stream we try to do here on April 14th, uh, 2022, it didn't go well because the phone service was crappy again. I did it a year ago here and now I'm using my GoPro for a better quality video. So let's go here in Guatapé, baby. It's all for you guys. Let's explore and I'm using my gimbal with the GoPro. Unfortunately, because of the wind, I don't have a wind mic for this. So anyhow, let's enjoy it as much as we can. All of this is a man-made reservoir here. An hour and 30 minutes normally by bus from Medellin. Take a bus at the North Bus Terminal. If you want to come up here and enjoy all of this, it's 18,000 pesos for the bus ride one way. And then you buy the bus ticket to return when you get here. So let's go and explore all of this guys in Guatapé this is a heavy tourist attraction area here in Colombia and here in Antioquia many restaurants many things La Posada cafe bar and hotel it's called La Posada you don't really have to book anything online you can just find them as you get here look around it'll be good so the live stream was not possible phone service sucked you can even take a bus that goes to San Rafael uh, or the one that comes here to Guadalupe and from the North Bus Terminal as I already said I'm just going to try to cross here to the uh, Malecon, what they call it in Spanish Malecon and the boardwalk, even though it's not really a boardwalk yeah, I'm just trying to find a place to cross on over break on through to the other side break on through to the other side yeah, yeah, yeah the doors baby that's another hotel here, so you got plenty of choices, plenty of stuff to look at. Hotel El Portal. This is going to be a straight shoot, I hope, with no pausing, none of that, because I'm using the GoPro. And here we are. We're going here. All of this is a man-made reservoir for hydroelectric power. And look at here, the Guatapé sign right there. Let's see if I can use this one for a selfie. Maybe when I edit it. So this is the Guadalupe sign. And these tuk-tuks are very common here. These tuk-tuks for you to get a tuk-tuk. So let's see, I'm using my gimbal that I normally use on my smartphone. Somebody gave me the idea when I was in Medellin at the Monterey Tech Mall to buy something to attach the, the GoPro to. And this is a tuk-tuk like in India. I remember taking these things in India and I'll be taking them again in India this year when I return to Incredible Indian. This is colorful Colombia. Colorful Colombia. Let's call it colorful Colombia. So we're walking across. They got desserts and everything here. If you want to buy some desserts, and they probably like five, six, seven, eight thousand pesos. They got all kinds of stuff. Hola, cómo está? ¿A cómo tiene los postres? Cuatro, seis y siete. Cuatro mil. Leche asada, cuatro mil. Cuatro mil. Ah, qué bueno. Gracias. Pues el merengón a ocho mil. El merengón a ocho mil. Ah, ok, gracias. So they got different prices. Everything under two bucks. Basically under two dollars. Two dollars. Some might be about two dollars and twenty cents for the different desserts you saw right there. Because the exchange rate can be anything depending on the time of year. So I can't really give you a precise figure, but it all depends on what the dollar is going for in Colombia, like right now, if you exchange a, a US dollar here, you get like 3,700 pesos for a US dollar. And she was saying some of those desserts were 4,000 pesos. Some of the desserts were 4,000 pesos. That's like a, like a little bit more than a dollar. Some are like 6,000 pesos, like a, a buck 50, a dollar 50. And some are 8,000 pesos, like $2.30, something to the extent. So you got all these nice places all around here and all kinds of things they're selling. And then if you want to go on these boat rides, they're playing some salsa or vaginatos or merengue. And you can go on one of those things out into the reservoir and have a nice day and listen to all that music. And if you know how to dance salsa or merengue or vaginatos or whatever, you can like hang out with your, with your girl or whatever and dance the afternoon away and stuff. And you got a lot of foreigners here. So I was saying that this Holy Week here, 2022, 
they expected about uh, I don't know about 400,000 tourists to come or 250,000 tourists to come into the country especially uh, to the Medellin area and some of those tourists come up to this area here Guatape and Peñol Rock so um, wow the music is just blasting over there sometimes I just try to avoid it but I'm just going to relax and whatever so you got people from the US most of the tourists coming here this holy week this whole week holy week here in 2022 April 2022 uh, from the US from Mexico England France and Spain those are where the majority of international travelers are coming from in addition to the the uh, Colombians domestically because that's the big force the Colombians domestic tourism but talking about international tourists they're coming from those five different countries I told you about so check it out all of this is Guatape and if you're liking this video so far guys you know what to do if you are liking this video go down below and give it a big one give it a big one if you like what you're seeing so far and leave comments and share this with your friends whoever you think might be into this and it's awesome temperatures here are always hovering between 65 degrees for a max to about maybe 77 degrees that's the average doesn't really get hot here a little warm sometimes but it's usually a lot of springtime spring type weather spring like weather it doesn't snow there's no winter here in terms of snow freezing temperatures nothing this is even better than Medellin Medellin is warmer Medellin sometimes the temperatures could go up to about 85 87 88 degrees Fahrenheit so you got let's go down to this part right here so you can see the lower part all of this was remodeled a few years ago no until last year or two years ago and they re-inaugurated it and and it's good all of this didn't, didn't exist here before this part it was pretty simple but they made it a whole lot better and all those little ships you see the Disney impersonation the Disney ripoff right there Salon de Eventos restaurant and whatever it's got the uh, Oh, is it Daffy Duck and uh, whatever? So, well, the blast and the music there. But I'm going to show you that they, they got these new shops. New shops here. They're just playing some Colombian music there. And, ouch, I just can't think straight. So, per person, they say 20,000 pesos, the touristic boats per person. The planchon is kind of like a flat boat, 20,000 pesos per person fast boat like a speed boat 20,000 pesos per person and you got all these uh, cafe bars and places ice cream uh, you know ice cream parlors and all of that so and there all this is a man-made you got all those little islands out there with even the, their own little hostels or hotels if you want to do some of that Souvenir shops, everything, everything. You will not be left disappointed by this town. You got a lot to do here, a lot. And there goes the town square, the park, the church in that area. So we're gonna go up that way and check out some of that. Let's go see it. Let's cross here. And this over here is Plazoleta de los Zócalos, right up ahead, up ahead of the street here. Now, this town is very typical because they call it Town of the Zócalos because these things are Zócalos. That right there, that painted stuff with the gravings engravings like with those are old over there they're they're dilapidated worn down you know those are the other ones that haven't been restored or upkept you know no upkeep on it and here's one for this shop which is a little different not as colorful and check it out where we're going right now 
I mean, you guys like it? What's up with the tour so far? Using a gimbal. Makes the GoPro image a whole lot sweeter. Look at all these umbrellas. Instagram moments. Pictures and everything. I'm just walking through. Says everybody wants to get a picture at the beginning of this thing. Wow. Excuse me. So let me see. Maybe even another Instagram moment when I do the editing. It's awesome. Beautiful. So look at it. They're showing here how people used to work in the town. This Zocalo represents that right there. And then you got another Zocalo here representing the church. And then the way they used to work here in the countryside to transport thing on mules. So you got a lot. And then you got this Zocalo right here representing, I don't know, some guy thinking, he's thinking of sheep. <laughs> sheep. And then this one representing the man making the Zocalo, the old man making the Zocalo and the little dog right there. Just chilling. So you got all kinds of Zocalos here representing different kind of moments in the town's history and in the region's history and this is Plazoleta de los Zocalos this is called Plazoleta like the little park the little Zocalos park see right there it says Cafe Origen La Plazoleta this is artisanal or handicraft and coffee cafe bar let's get an angle from up here let's go up this way yeah this is unedited video all the way unedited hopefully when it comes out it'll never get any uh, claims because of music because we cannot handle the music we can't manage it that's out of the hands where people are blasting their music look at the big fish monument that monument is a monument to uh, abundance and prosperity that's what the fish represents so let's say for traveling Eddie even though I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat it I don't eat animals or fish or whatever for traveling Eddie and Eddie Viajero. Abundance and prosperity in 2022 and beyond, especially because we're going to Asia, baby. And that's where we want to blow up like supernovas. Look at how cool it is. And I'm coming up on the charts. Everything is getting better. More foreigners down there. People from other countries and from inside the country. And there goes the church tower right there. Wow. So if you want to just chill, relax, have a nice cup of coffee, have a nice little sandwich, you can come to this part here and they got menus, good prices. Sit down and have something to eat, have a snack, a gelato, pizza, like over here they got a pizzeria, gelato, whatever, it's called La Cupola, the the tower or the dome, whatever, and then you want to buy some tidbit souvenirs to take back home to your family and friends and whatever. Over the fridge, you got all these things. Three for 20,000 pesos. That's three for about four, eight, 12, 16, 24, about five dollars and 60 cents or six bucks. Three of them. So you could get some nice, cheap, cool souvenirs to take back home and give to your family and friends. So they don't get angry at you and they're like, why ain't you bring me any souvenirs? Come on, why ain't you bring me anything? You don't love me? So people sometimes go crazy like that and they complain because you don't bring them anything. What? It's all good and people are here with their doggies and everything, with their children. Everybody in general is enjoying the ride. Traveling Eddie style. I am not Harry Jaggard. I am not Gabriel Traveler. I am not... Luisito Comunica. I am not World Nomac. Oh, this is the chocolate place. They sell a lot of chocolate here. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's been here for years. For some years. Chocolate. Awesome. Different chocolate presentations. Wow. Cool. It's the chocolate place right here in the Plazoleta de los Ocalos. I am not any other YouTuber. I am me, baby. I'm the real Slim Shady. No, they're all real too. I'm just making jokes about who I am and who I'm not. Sometimes, once in a blue moon, I remember on my other channel, somebody said that I was the rip-off of some dude because my name 
in Spanish on my other channel is Edi Viajero and there's some dude on YouTube that goes by the name of Alex Viajero and some dude made the comment and I did get a little annoyed by it in those days like a year more than a year ago because I was going through some rough spots in my mood or whatever but then I realized why am I gonna get mad? what am I getting mad about anybody could come up with any name on YouTube just as long as you're not copying somebody else's name exactly to the letter because it won't happen but if you got your own original name and that's mine and nobody has a monopoly on these names no copyright or whatever intellectual or property whatever anyhow let's continue enough of the jokes and we're going into the park area now i'm going to show you guys a nice for all those of you who are vegan or vegetarian and you want to eat something healthy because they do have a couple of vegetarian and vegan options here restaurants i know of one for sure it's right up the street right across from the hostel la casa rosa a hostel more tuk-tuks this is how you can catch a tuk-tuk from here and you can go all the way to Piedra del Peñol. It's only a 10 minute ride from here. I just didn't have a chance today to go because today, good Thursday, April 14th, 2022. To get here was a mission. A mission, it was super slow. Normally it takes an hour and a half because this is, but this is a special day, super high traffic. Wow, it took us four hours to get here. This is the hostel, hostel right here. This is the hostel. And it's called La Casa, okay, Casa Rosa Hostel, Casa Rosa Hostel. And here is the vegan, Namaste Vegan. They sell good falafels, wraps. It's called Namaste Vegan. I've eaten here like three or four times. It's pretty good, pretty good food and all of that. And it's all vegan. And they're on Instagram under Namaste Vegan Express underscore Guatape. So in case you want to check him out on uh, Instagram and on the second floor they have a cool place where you can sit up there and eat your food I've done it before every time I've come there here and even up there I remember I even had the opportunity to paint my name